The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of WBGR Network. Any questions or concerns about what is said should be directed to the show host, whose information will be provided upon request. Let's talk about the positive life. The positive life. The positive life. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome to another show of Let's Talk Positive. Say hi mom to everybody. Hello. <laughs> Let me do my greetings real quick to the Nigerians of Cairo, to the Spanish, hola, to the French, bonjour, comment allez-vous, to the India people from the north and south, namaste and want to come and we're praying for you. Uh, to the Filipinos, my friends and family. Hi, Como Sta family. Hi, Uncle E. Hi, Auntie Wilma. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Valerie. Hey. To the Koreans, Anya Haseo. To the Japanese, Kanichiwa. To the Chinese, Ni Hao. To the Cantonese, Ni Hu. To the Guyana people from Africa, me, my wife, Ju. To the Hawaiians, Aloha. The Pakistans, Assalamu Alaikum. The Vietnamese people, Sing Chao. Uh, the Ethiopian, Mediterranean, those who speak that language, Salom and Shalom. The, and the Arabic people, Marhaba. And we added the uh, Russian people because we do know that there are some that are Christians. Hey, Kavazavu. And all the English people all over the world. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? Thank y'all so, so much for, for tuning in. We have a marvelous show. We're a little bit, maybe a little bit behind a little bit because we had a little bit of some technical difficulties that kind of we had to straighten out. But anyway, we're here. Yay! Um, let's talk about this. Recap. Last week, we had author Lisa M. Sanchez. Right. And people, if you didn't see the, so see the show, please see it. It was called Looking for Love in a Garbage Can. Hmm. Wow. You know, that's so catchy. It, it made you want to like say, what is she talking about there? She was talking about how dysfunctional her family was growing up as a, a, a toddler, pretty much, all the way to the, in the 20s, and um, dealing with her uh, um, dad, who was an alcoholic. And they, and she said that he was had these, quote, episodes, meaning that these rants and break up stuff and put people all out and all that, and how she um, mimicked that as far as um, with relationships. She was more like her mom, and she would attract men who were like her dad mm. and then that she finally woke up after a little bit of time to say wait a minute what am I doing mm -hmm. and she seeked help you know to, to see find out what, what was going on with her and you know she's she's very good as far as that go to, to give that testimony and she does she's a motivational speaker so she goes around and talks about that to different people I thought that was fantastic so that because again she's not by herself you have a lot of people who grew up in dysfunctional families right. and sometimes it does affect you as you grow up you wonder why do you do this why you do this because of something that occurred maybe as a child right. and you didn't really deal with it mm -hmm. and it tends to be um, biblically it can be generational mm -hmm. but you know how she's now able to help people as far as the motivational speaker mm -hmm. that type of thing Kudos to her. She's wonderful. You have to get the book. Let me tell you, it's really, really good. You can actually get it on Kindle and also Amazon. If you get it on Kindle, it's less money and you can just read. Uh, it's a good read. Um, I think a hundred and some pages. You can probably read it in a, a within a, a couple of hours. It's really, really good. Awesome. I mean, Could you know one thing? It's very good that um, maybe you might have a very bad start, but it's just temporary, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be good because this way she is able to minister to other people. To other people, now. exactly. And with understanding, so that would make her also a very successful person mm -hmm. in ministering to other people and let them know you could overcome this. That's right. That's true. Absolutely. You know, um, a test for a testimony. How can you tell someone 
what to do or you know as far as that um, how to get out of that if you've right. never gone through that right. situation mm -hmm. she has had first-hand experience on that right. nothing like a person we hate that she went through that but now she can help others to get out of that in right. all the words much. she took lemon and, and made lemonade. lemonade come on here Come on, wise mom, I tell you. Let's talk about this. You know, we know this month is also, you know, June month. We, we you know, we talk about the men, but what I want to kind of deter and um, talk more about the COVID. We know that it's still around. Mm -hmm. um, D.C. and other places are now trying to get back to normal. I guess, what is this, phase four or, mm -hmm. you know, the, the top phase as far as that goes. Things are, are trying to get back to where it was. We have a new norm, basically. Right. And... Um, but I noticed that the traffic has been extremely heavy. So yeah. I guess people are kind of going back to work. I almost was late today trying to get my makeup done and everything. I did out that traffic was something else. It was a bear. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, you know, I also, um, some, some of those cars was out of town. Okay, so we do have people that, you know, with this it being summer now, right. a lot of people now are starting to come out and, and, and want to tour and different right. things. Again, people, you know, we still have to be aware mm -hmm. that um, you still have to wash your hands, mm -hmm. all right, and you have to still practice the social distancing, wear your mask. Um, if you're out running, then you don't need the mask at the time, right. just have it with you. Um, again, um, wiping off the places with uh, a fifth of the bleach. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the furniture, furniture, but I'm talking about the other places like in your sink, uh, at, at home, your your kitchen, and, and also your bathrooms, those type of areas like that. Just being aware of that. Um, wearing a face shield if, if need be. Nothing like the hand washing, though. Hand washing for that 20 seconds will kill up a lot of things, right? Um, they're also, you know, in the news, they're talking about um, now uh, trying to look into maybe making some pills that will treat COVID-19, um, especially in that COVID-19 and also future viruses, uh, breakouts, those type of things. And it is an antiviral that they're talking about. And what they're saying is it may be available maybe at, by the by fall or maybe the end of this year is what they are working on. Uh, and it's really to come back um, the early stages, the early stages of the COVID-19, meaning even before the symptoms actually show. Say like if you test positive for COVID, they want to give you the pill so that that will help your symptoms. Maybe you won't have any. That's what they're hoping for, right? Um, before the symptoms actually occur or are visible is what we should say. Um, and so um, what they're saying is this is called AT-527. Um, and apparently it's very effective against the um, hepatitis C virus. Mm. So they're hoping that that will also help with the COVID. Right. But again, it's like they're doing clinical trials mm -hmm. to see what's what. Can they use that um, for like uh, COVID-19? Also, we know that uh, there's been a breakout. Um, I, I have that written down because I said, wow, you know, it's always something. I tell you, these plagues are something else. But there's a, a, a breakout that came. It's like a, we call it a new plague. It's a mutation. We've been talking about mutations the whole time right. since I've, since this has happened right. um, back in um, early 2020. So there's a variant that's called Delta Plus, okay? And they said it was in India. First reported, it was, they said June the 11th. Mm -hmm. And they had 40 cases. And it's more transmissible. I mean, it's just like, like fire, boom. It can just... It's, highly contagious apparently and what they're advising they're saying that people have to be tested more frequently just to get tested just to make sure that's what they're saying as far as that go there's a spike protein mutation that's called a k417n and it was first identified they said in south africa mm -hmm. so as of june the uh the 16th they found like it in, in 11 the countries already so they have a total of like 197 cases that's going on already. So they said Britain is 36, Canada found one case, um, India was eight cases, but of course it's more now, right? Mm -hmm. Japan 15, uh, Naples uh, three, Poland 19, Switzerland 19, uh, Turkey one, uh, USA, of course we have to beat everybody, 83, okay? Mm -hmm. So as of Wednesday, they're saying that the virulent, of course, is in um, the, a lot of the kind of states or different places in India, mm -hmm. 40 cases. So still, people, we go by the scripture, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn 
from the wicked ways, if then then he will heal the land. It's always that we have to pray about something, okay? Because it's almost like kind of sticking around or doing something almost like the influenza. You know, the influenza, again, we talked about they will only immunize you against three to four strands. Mm -hmm. Well, they have tons, thousands and thousands right. of different strands. Mm -hmm. They can't immunize against everything right. because you'd be a, a pinprick. Right. So this is almost like that or even worse. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we we have a lot more to pray about. You know, we can't get laxy daisy and be like, oh, you know, we're cured and, and everything is fine. It's not, it's, it's a new norm now. Right. And for God's sake, please, people, the number one way, CDC even tell you that, the number, way, the number one way to prevent infections, period, is by hand hygiene. Just washing your hands. All right, that's, yeah, that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, also, another thing I wanted to say before you give some nuggets. My mom always gives some really good nuggets, and we're waiting for our guests also to call as well. Um, the the uh, cicadas. Are almost yeah. gone right. here anyway in the DMV area uh, they actually I did a little bit of homework to find out that they are like um, they live underground for like um, four to 17 years mm. so that's the longevity right they can be around for that it depends some places some of them live from one to nine years and some before to seven years it just depends some of them come out annually some of them come out every blue moon but some of them we see, see let me get the ones that come out annually for some reason and you know how we talk about um the noises that we hear well actually the noises that we hear are the male cicadas that are singing <laughs> who knew right they're singing and they are they say that they are the loudest of all insects they are like the loudest as far as can cause some um, ear damage in here humans no, if they are like near you said so like if you have some trees and different things near you mm -hmm. if they're so loud they can actually hurt your ear can cause some damage to mm -hmm. that that I thought was why so it was a plague too that it has to be a plague to do that other than that they're just real big and awkward kind of bugs that are just nuisance mm -hmm. but it's that singing that they do the males I guess it's like a courtship that's what you hear mm -hmm. when you be like oh what's that they're singing right. who knew right mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway and that, noise. I guess, or something <laughs> making some type of noise you know yeah um and what they're saying is when they do come they're called nymphs when they're underground. They live a long time, right? But when they do come out, they're adults, right? And they only live two to six weeks. So if you can kind of like hang on wherever you are, if you can hang on for two to six weeks, sometimes two weeks, they're like gone. But some of them can live a little longer, about six, you know, six weeks. And then they die off. So unfortunately, I think our area, they come out certain places every year, annually. And other places, they come out every so often. But again, it's kind of like a nuisance more than anything what you think right. <laughs> you know, right. I haven't you know I came I said I don't hear anything the males stop singing they're gone yeah so anyway that's what I wanted to talk about and of course people listen make sure that you're eating healthy um, doing what you need to do in regards to keeping healthy as far as uh, your vitamin D your vitamin D3 and then also getting a proper sunlight it's as hot as summer now right. the vitamin A the vitamin C you know let's 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 do better let's let's live right, right. put Christ first right so now mom you got to give some nuggets and then we'll find out what happened to uh, you know our guests yes right. well first <laughs> of all I want to say that um, you must read the Bible that is our road map obey, do what it say. Uh, we all need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will teach us. And the Lord said that my people perished for the lack of knowledge. So we need to be taught and we need to get the Holy Ghost so he can t teach us and lead us. And then whatever we have, the Lord is the one that gives the increase. And we need a lot of some increase around here. Yes, we do. And we just need the Lord help. And again, that is on the condition. If we walk upright before the Lord, he said, well, no good thing he will withhold from us. And now that is up to us. Do what the Lord say do and we will come out on top. That's awesome. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. You know, my mom always had these wisdom nuggets. 
I'm just trying to um, get in touch with one of my PRs to make sure everything is okay. Um, listen, let's do a break and let me find out where my guests are. Yes, break time, girl. Yeah. Round the clock entertainment will be representing at the Stellas in Nashville, Tennessee.
matter the cost. There's no when I feel wrong, wrong. you forever change me. Your love has saved me. Oh, I need, I need you, in my, you in my life. There's no way, no way, no way. Let's talk about 
Let's Talk Positive Life with Rainier airs live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The show is seen worldwide and has a variety of topics, including discussions from medical, community affairs, live entertainment, and everyday conversations with guests, including the entertainment capital, Hollywood, California. Let's Talk Positive Life reaches a global audience with over 300,000 views every Wednesday on Roku, Fire Stick, Facebook, and WBGR Network. Let us advertise your business. For more sponsor, donation, and advertising information, or to join the conversation as a guest, contact Renee Montgomery at www.letstalkwithrenere.com and click on contact us. So spread the word. Sponsor opportunities are now available. Let's talk positive life with Renee.
I just wanted to take a little bit of time just to say thank you so, so much for tuning into this fantastic show, Let's Talk Positive Life. I don't take it lightly. I really appreciate it. And continue to share, repo share as we continue on coming, uh, coming on set um, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We try to bring you the best of the best. You know, I'm with me being a nurse, trying to give you some health tips in regards to your health and also some holistic also advice. Also, you know, we have various speakers ranging from chefs on set, bakers on set, uh, sports uh, entertainment. Uh, we have Hollywood actors and actresses, authors of books, fashion shows, Stella, Grammy, Dove Award winners, and also the independent artists who are red carpet ready. Also, difficulty and also a lot of things just got mixed up but woo, we have Donna Richardson and Mama Laverne online let me do a little short 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 bio because they also have another interview that they're doing right in a, in a few minutes mother and daughter duo teamed up to bring their signature down home recipe chickens and waffles yes I'm talking about the fitness guru herself Donna Richardson and her mom Mama Laverne y'all know that y'all like some um, homemade chickens and waffles I'm thinking about that right now yes and when I look at the picture I was like wow Wow, you know, finger licking good. And y'all listen, they, that proves to tell you or show you that you don't have to go outside of your house to get a, a southern down home cooking. You can do it yourself and save a lot of money. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the dynamic duel. Donna Richardson and Mama Laverne. Yay! Hey, Donna Laverne. Hi. How are you? Good, 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 good. I know you have so much to do. Um, let me just say this real quick. You know, I did a little bit of homework in regards to chickens and waffles, and we know that back in Harlem time, uh, the Renaissance, um, Herb um, Hudson of, of Harlem reside there, and then also he went and lived in L.A., and, and they talked about the Roscoe House of Chicken and Waffles, which was Hollywood's favorite of favorites, and it continues on, of course, today. And they talk about even the history of it where... The chicken and waffles was something that they would eat back in the 1938s, uh, especially if the musicians would come in and they, it was like maybe too late for dinner, but too early for breakfast. So they came out with, hey, why not chickens and waffles? I thought that was just wonderful because that just goes to show us that you can have chickens and waffles anytime. 24 7 yeah, if you, you want can have it for breakfast you can have it for brunch you can have it for lunch you can have it for dinner and the after party come on here party party and you can eat yeah you gotta talk about even you know i know that you know your mom this is her recipe and getting in the kitchen with mom to uh put your head together and say this is what we want to do we want to do this especially during the pandemic Talk about that journey as far as that go, because we know it's a family uh, recipe, but just to get it in the market, talk a little bit about that. Well, during the pandemic, I had experienced, like many others, challenges, uncertainties. We lost loved ones from co to COVID-19. Wow. Um, I got injured, and I'm learning how to walk again. My mother was sick for five months. They thought she had COVID-19, but she had severe bronchitis. My brother had two strokes. Mm -hmm. Now he has lupus, and he's lost his eyesight. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot that we experienced. Um, but I do believe that, you know, God gives you that fight and that yes. faith and that's what gets you through and I think during that time though it allowed us we knew we were going to do something with the business we had had offers yeah. to um, partner with the restaurant to partner with a food truck but we did not move forward with that and then mm -hmm. eventually God gave us this opportunity yeah. and the vision to do it with a product Come on so in. we basically took her chicken seasoning mix and the pancake and waffle mix, and I was basically making those mixes and sending them out to friends and family who now could not get out because we were on lockdown. Right. And then some of the family and friends who still wanted it, but they wanted me to cook it, I would schedule a love drive-by, and I would cook, it, cook the food and then 
put it out on the front porch and they come by and pick it up. And that's what I did during the pandemic because we could no longer get to people's homes to cook it. So my mom and I have been doing this for, gosh, over 25 years. years. And um, she's cooked for family and friends and celebrities. And it really started at my grandmother's house. Wow. We would go to church and then after church, you know, you go over and and they're cooking up the best soul food ever and you're having like great memories, you're sharing traditions, playing cards, dominoes, dancing, all that good stuff. And then when my grandmother passed away, my mother started having the gatherings at her home, but by this time, she had put a lot of love and put her own twist to chicken and waffles. And that's when there was a demand for her to go from coast to coast cooking chicken and waffles for family, for friends, and celebrities. That's awesome. That's how it got started. That's so awesome because in the perfect timing of of dealing with this pandemic in, a, in the lockdown, because this is going to be like a new norms here in D.C., Washington, D.C. I know we have, you know, a lot of people are still at, at home and they actually will order their foods like from Uber and different places like that. But this is just perfect timing to even have this during the lockdown. And I think somewhere you've talked about uh, with your mom just putting uh, the recipe on a sheet of paper and just giving it to you. <laughs> That's, that's oh, so cool. yeah. She's a little old school, so when that's she passed cool. down this rich family um, recipe, she just didn't, like, you know, email it to me. She wrote it on a scrap piece of paper. That's she so took cool. a photo of it, and then she texted it to me, because I live in Dallas. She lives in Maryland, yes. where I'm from. And I'm like, Mom, couldn't you have just email this to me? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let it go. She's 81 years young. 81 she can years. do it however she wants to yes. do it. And then one time I asked her, well, when you prepare the chicken and waffles, take some photos, because we're going to need it for promotion. So I called her. She says, okay, baby, I got it. And she sent over one photo. And I was like, Mom, I know you got to, like, make sure the food is gathered there together. You need to add a, another piece of chicken. And she said, well, baby, we're going to have to do that tomorrow because we ate it all. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Okay, what? <laughs> so we definitely see, um, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to carry this legacy, and then I should be passing it down to the next generation. And so we want to grow and scale the business absolutely. so that we can build generational wealth. That's absolutely wonderful. And then I know that you, you I, I think she talked about other recipes, even from her mom, but she didn't get a chance to write it down because you, do you have yes, even But more? you know, when you're growing up, you have all these recipes yeah. from your mother, from your grandmother, yeah. and sometimes we do not, you know, keep a log of these wonderful recipes in mm-hmm. our family. Mm-hmm. And so we hadn't done that with a lot of the recipes, but this one in particular, we had. And yes. thank God we had because yeah. now we are giving birth to some legacy and just the idea that this is not just about food. Think about it. Food is the backdrop for all a lot of our experiences. Yes. So I'm just hoping that people, because we were in lockdown, we had time to spend with our family, with our friends who live with us. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, to cook, cook food again, real food, home real food. some food, not just add water food, right. and enjoy that experience. That's awesome. And so part of this is to, you know, continue that experience of having homemade food. This is a homemade mix. You you have to add some milk and butter, yeah. eggs to it, yeah. and it's not just add water. And then the seasoning... You can use it for chicken, you can use it for the fish, for the seafood, you can oh, use it for your vegetables, not just frying, but you can also oven roast it as well, That's meats awesome. and vegetables with this chicken seasoning. That's awesome, and even with your the waffle mix, that you can use it as a waffle mix and as well as a pancake mix. Yes, That's we it. made That's it so you can use pancake, That's and awesome. when you want those fluffy melt-in-your-mouth pancakes, you use it for that, and then we have two versions of the waffle mix. You can use it for my mom's waffles, which tend to be very soft and light and melt in your mouth, wow. and then you have the other version, which is the Belgian waffles that tend to be a little bit more dense, yeah. and um, they're just as good. They're just a little heavier. That's awesome. So You've got all of this in one package, and we didn't know that when we launched. We launched on Amazon um, last month. Mm -hmm. My God, it's been a great partnership with them, but um, we're the first to package it together. So if you were to go in the store, you normally would have to go over here, go get the chicken seasoning, then walk through the store and go get the flour, and then you go home and mix it all up. Well, it's all in one package, and because it's pre-mixed, 
you can make chicken and waffles in about 15, 20 minutes when that used to take about an hour. And then you don't even have to go to the store if you don't feel like it or go to the restaurant because you can make it at home. Isn't that wonderful? I tell you. Isn't that wonderful? That is absolutely wonderful. This way, There's I'll, no I'll, difference I'll, in like shrimp and grits. There you That's go. The whole package right there and you can make it for yourself. Absolutely wonderful. And let me ask you because it's the weight is 16 ounces and about how many people will that one package actually serve? Um, That's like for a family of... Um, um, four or five because think about it you can cook with about two to three pounds of chicken from the seasoning yeah, yeah. and then you get about eight to ten waffles and pancakes okay so yeah it's pretty good um serving that's awesome mm -hmm. and i love yeah it. so we're just really feeling blessed because we've gone through so much and it's just by his grace oh my god by his mercy that, yes. you know, I'm learning how to walk again. I have a knee brace on, and my brother's getting better, and my mother feels good, and we just know that this is nothing but God. And, yes, we got radical faith and radical fight in us, yes. but he provides. There you he go. gave us this opportunity, and we're very excited, very humble, and now we just got our first grocery store. Yes! Up right in Philadelphia um, starting next month, and then we'll be able to continue to be in grocery stores around the country. But you know, it's small steps. Yes. You know, you got to take those baby steps. And right now, we are in the process of just really fine tuning, you know, our social media and asking our family and friends to help and post up on, you know, their platforms because. This is truly the beginning, and this is what it takes to have a startup company. Uh -huh. you got to really do it all yourself. And yeah. it's no different than when I started fitness 30 years ago, uh -huh. and I was the only African-American woman yeah. or, or a person in health and fitness. Wow. And I had to just navigate and find my way, but along, you know, when you think of your business plan and your research, you have to do all those things again. But right now, I'm healing and I'm hustling. That's awesome. It's all good. It is. Hey, Donna. Yeah. Hey, Donna, listen. Your gift will make room for you, and it just is. Amen. Is, come on here. Amen and, and to listen, that. And, and so I just, yeah. you know, I will tell anybody, you have to go for it. You do not let anything stop you. And, yes, you're going to have some battles to fight, oh, but true. after those battles come blessings. Oh, come what God here. has for you is for you. Come on here. Ooh, that's good. Donna, I love you, girl. But, yes, it do. There could be all these other chicken seasonings and pancake and waffle mixes out there, but guess what? He's making room for Mama Laverne's chicken waffles and pancakes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's yes. up to us to do the work. Faith yes. without work is dead. We are working 24-7. 24-7. I mean, I may have an ice pack on my knee one day and then, you know, barely walking the next, but I'm making it happen, and it's no excuses. None. No, none. None whatsoever. And no, and we just, you know, we, we feel so blessed because so many people around the country have supported us. They've mm -hmm. gone on Amazon. They've purchased the product. They've given us great reviews, and that's what it takes. Yeah. And you just build it one day at a time, day at a time. one week at a time, one month at a time. Awesome. And it, it really takes, you know, I come from a, a lot of us come from, just generations of strong women, strong women, courageous women, relentless, perseverance. And so that's instilled in me. We don't have, and never as, as black people, we don't have, you know, the luxury of giving up because we yeah. are fighters. Yeah, that's good. And our ancestors fought courageously. And now that is in me and in my mother. And so we know what it's taking to, to launch this business. She's 81 years 81. young. I'm 58 years young. Awesome. And we're doing it. You look great. You look you know, great. Some people would say, oh, y'all too old. No, 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 no. You are, you're never too old to do oh, something yeah. new. That's awesome. Hey, hey and, Donna, while you're talking, guess what? who I have next to me? My mom is 90 years young. Hello. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> that and, is beautiful. Congratulations to your mom and yes, you. Yes. And, and let me just say this, that I know that you're in one, the, the stop right, but you're going, I can see you uh, because Payla Bell is there in the Walmarts. Walmarts is everywhere right. and they should have your product there. I can't wait till it hit Walmart. Well, we are hoping to um, now, because we're talking to different um, grocery stores and retailers, mm -hmm. and 
we do have Target and Walmart on our list, and oh, a lot of these companies now are, you know, bless their hearts, they're doing some minority programs that yeah. they are just starting. Mm -hmm. So we hope to be a part of that because a lot of times you can have a good product, but it's difficult, and they've made it difficult for us to get in the door. Oh, yeah. And now there yeah. is some opportunity, so we as African-American vendors have to take advantage of some of these doors opening, which they have been closed for so many years. Yeah, right. that's that's true. And I, I see this, and let me tell you, I, I'm a And favorite. can I also say one Absolutely. of the things that has helped tremendously is I had a mentor, mm. an African-American woman who is just amazing. She's awesome. Her name is Michelle Hotskins, H-O-S-K-I-N-S. -S. Okay. She has the number one and only black-owned syrup business in this country. What? Ooh. Oh, my God. She's in, like, 20,000 grocery stores around the country. Wow. She was in, like... 15,000 and now Target is putting her in all of their stores around the country and when I tell you her syrup is so good like a lot of the others are very heavy mm -hmm. very very sweet hers is light like it comes out lightweight and it's not too sweet mm -hmm. and um, I love the fact that this woman took me under her wings wow. and showed me the ropes I went to a course one on one with her about a year and a half ago, okay. and it was called From Recipe to Retail. And mm. even to this day, I can pick up the phone. It could be 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it could be at 10 in the morning, you know, and she is there for me, wow. helping me, you know, what kind of insurance do I need? General liability, is it yeah. 3 million versus 1 million? What yeah. is it required of grocery stores and retailers? Mm. And she has been so gracious. And so consistent with me so I'm just I just want to say thank you and I hope that there are others out there that help others find their way help others guide them because they've been there and that's so awesome. now she's sewing into us she's sewing into us and we we're yes. gonna be you know her proud students because then we're gonna sew into other businesses when I get to the point where I am strong and able to have a major global food company I'm going to be able to share that information with other vendors who are coming right behind me. That's so we awesome. all can be successful. So we can all give God the glory. And That's give awesome. The honor. That's awesome. Amen. 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 I'm Amen. just like, Amen. oh, man. That's wonderful. <laughs> this gets Amen. me worked up when I'm talking about it. I know it. And, and that time just goes. But I know that eventually also you'll come out with a seasoning for people who also um, have um, heart problems, hypertension, different things like that. Is that in the making eventually also? Yeah. Because, we, yeah. we also, like I said, the seasoning can be used to bake your, your fish, your mm -hmm. chicken, and your meats and vegetables. Mm -hmm. But. But eventually we will come out with a, another version of the waffle and pancake mix awesome. where it? it's not with the eggs and the buttermilk. It will be that you could add oil and water and it could, it's going to be where it's a little healthier. That's awesome. So, yeah, we plan on doing that and That's adding awesome. other products. But, you know, we got to come out with our flagship, right? There you go first, right. Now, you know, that time, yes. just, that time just goes. But you have to uh, let us know how can we support you uh, in what you're doing? How can we purchase your products? Also, social media. How can we get in touch with you, Donna? Okay, so just, you know, getting in touch with me because not, not only am I, you know, launching this food product, but I'm still, you know, this fitness guru that's been out there helping black people in communities around this country for over 30 years. It's been my purpose, passion. So you'll still get fitness tips and information that keeps you motivated to keep your body, your temple, yes. and keep it tight and keep it right. Mm -hmm. So you can go to my um, Instagram, which is I am Donna Richardson. Yes. And my Facebook is Donna Richardson. And then you can go to my mom's page, which is Mama Laverne's Food. Okay. And she's on Instagram and Facebook. And to get the product, um, just go right to Amazon. Amazon just did their prime day, what, yesterday and the day before, and we were one of the prime choices. Is that oh, not right. good? Come on here. <laughs> yeah, going there and, you know, supporting us at 12, it's 12.49. It's so reasonable, yeah. right? Yeah, it is. And also, when you get it, we want people to post up their photo with our 
chicken and waffle and pancake mix so that when they post, they're sharing that with their family and with their friends. That helps us tremendously. Okay. Because it's all about word of mouth of how it gets it out there. It you is. Know? It is. Actually, um, we're going to, this is going to re-air again, hopefully tomorrow on um on Amazon uh, at Firestick as well as on Roku, and then it's going to be also on. This is this is WBGR Entertainment, but it's also going to be on All Nations TV uh, network on the on the Roku uh, channels, which is worldwide. And it's going to be on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we, I'm trying to spread you guys everywhere so people can know that about is beautiful. my Donna. We appreciate all the love and all the support. And one other thing I would say is one of the things that helped us to get this grocery store deal was that there were just fans of mine that saw me coming out with this product and they went to the stores in Philly and said, how come you don't have Donna's Mama's Chicken Waffle? Okay. And they were like, we didn't know about it. And it got to the CEO and that is how we got our okay. first deal. So if people can go and just ask for it too, mm -hmm. buy it on Amazon, but ask for it in the stores, mm -hmm. then uh, most likely a lot of those stores will accommodate their customers and get right. that product on the shelf. That's, That's a awesome. huge, huge way to support black-owned businesses mm -hmm. and, and these products that... that you know, a lot of us have worked so hard to uh, manufacture and be able to, you know, I say it's love that we are sharing with other people. Yes, <laughs> that, there you go, there you go. Listen, that time just goes, and I know you have another call you have to do. Give some shout-outs to who you want to give some shout-outs to. And some last I words. want to give a shout huh? And some last words, whatever you want to say. I just want to say to anyone that has a dream, anyone that has goals, you know, just go for it. Just don't let anything or anyone deter you, from, deter you from what you know God has placed in your heart to do. And there's going to be a lot of challenges. There's going to be setbacks. There's going to be times I know that I just broke down and was crying, like, how am I going to do this? How am I, you know, going to walk again? And all of those things that enter in. But you really, I mean, you just got to dig deep inside of you and say, I won't quit. Yes. I know that this is what God has for me right now. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So you, it's almost like I felt this all of this pandemic, I felt like a heavyweight fighter in the boxing ring. And I can tell you, it was not 12 rounds. It's been more than 12 rounds I've been fighting. But that's the part that keeps that energy in me that every day I wake up and say, I got this. Come on here. I could have not so good day, but I got it because I've got to change my self-talk and keep it very positive and keep it uplifting and keep inspiring me so that I can go, go the course, right? That's and right. so that's what I want to instill in people that you can do it and you have to be able to tell yourself and even look back at, at the legacy, the rich legacy that I have. And, and I'm going to say this, when you're, when you're in the thick of it, just remember this, you stand because your family, the women, the men, yes. they stood. Yes. You fight because they were courageous fighters, so mm -hmm. you continue to fight. And then every morning, they rose, so you have to rise and mm. give it your best shot. Come on. That's the truth. Wow. I hear That's it. And you have to, and, and the, the bottom line, and, and all of this, no matter what, Come on. you have to believe that God. Come on. That he can do it. He's done it for you before he can do it again. Come on. Yes. That scripture say I can do all things. Nothing's Christ. impossible. Come on. What seemed impossible yes. last year at this time, it's 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 possible right Come on now. Here. We took lemon and made lemonade. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Yes. Donna. You can do it. Yes, Truth. yes, we all can. I'm just encouraging everybody. That this, you know, God, it does nothing's too big for our God, right? Nothing. And also, you know, there's a scripture that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you yes. are a living witness, a living testimony to that. I really, really appreciate you. Give some shout outs, Donna, to you want to give some shout outs to. I want to just give a shout out to all those in Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, my hometown, just 
you all have been loving and supportive all of these years, and I just want to encourage you to, you know, support, support other black businesses. I want to encourage you to get your health in the best of health right now. And I want to encourage, you know, some of my um, church members there to, <laughs> that they, you know, again, take better care of their body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Right. I want to give shout outs to all of them, even my family and friends there. That's awesome. Love. That's awesome. Colton McConnell told me to tell you hello. Who is that? Colton. Colton McConnell. He goes to Bishop yes. TJ. Oh my gosh. Tell him I said hi. <laughs> I, I'm actually. Oh my. <laughs> I'm actually. We with, go way back. Uh, I know that because I'm actually with Round the Clock Entertainment under him and they're going to be doing the Stellas in July. So he said, Oh, you're going to be interviewing Donna Richardson. Yeah, that's my girl. And she told me to mention. Oh, please give him my love. <laughs> Absolutely. Donna, I, and we're planning. Listen, people, let's support our own. Donna Richardson has been doing it up for years. Right. The exercise guru. And she can cook. And the food looks so good. Yes. I want to keep in touch with you, Donna, okay? Have a good one, all right? Great. You have my information, right? I, can you give it again before we uh, leave for the day? Can yes, you, can you want to get it from Pamela? No, well, is it uh, your personal information or did you want to just give it to everybody out there? Okay, for every, we're going to give you the information to go on Amazon and show us some love. Yes. Go to Instagram. I am Donna Richardson, Donna Richardson, and then Donna Richardson for Facebook. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, people, I need you guys to support our very own The Exercise Guru. <laughs> Extraordinaire, Donna Richardson. Thanks, sweetie. Have a good evening, okay? Blessings, blessings. <laughs> Thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> it's this show turned out great after all because I was like, okay. Certain things happen, you still have to improvise. You have, still have to, and thank God we are nurses, right. so we always have something to say. Right. She made my evening, though. Right. Donna, yes, girly, yes, you're doing it. And then plus, I've been watching her for well, years. Oh, for I appreciate <laughs> when they talk of they talk about God. Talk about the Lord. The Lord That's it. Is talk about the Lord. Come on here, because, because the Bible says. God to, to, uh, let, let us know that without him, him we can't do anything. Nothing. We can't do that anything. We are a bunch of helpless, helpless people, people without all. And we need his help. Come on here. That's and you right. see it that, you know, she sold out quite a few times with yeah. her chicken and waffles and right. more and more and more. Right. So, you know, she's really doing it up, though. Oh, right. my God. And I can see it because, like I said, Patty LaBelle's products are in Walmart. And that's a store where a lot of us go, even here in the DMV area. And I can see it's going to eventually be there. Right. It, it definitely is. I can see it there. Uh, see, oh my God, um, it's so good. Working with things, mm -hmm. and when you see the result, yeah, that gives you the go power. You say, "Hey, this is great." So mm -hmm. that way, you are encouraged to keep on, keep on, keep, keep on. on. There you go. Right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now you know what I need to say this because Round the Call Entertainment. I want to say this. You know, the Stellas is coming up. Um, in in a few weeks, actually, and and it's going to be this is be you know because of the pandemic right. they couldn't do it last year and the year before, right. but it's going to be in Nashville, and um, the CEO of course of Round the Clock Entertainment is um, Colton McConnell. Hey, Colton, what's up? Uh, from Texas, he's actually he and also Donna they actually are with Bishop T D Jake's ministry, mm -hmm. the Potter's House there, mm -hmm. and as you can see. He has, it's going to be a huge showcase there in um, Tennessee. I think it's like on the outskirts of Nashville, but in the Nashville area. You know how you have suburbs and different things. But uh, to God be the glory uh, for for my name to be on there. Let's talk positive life. Yay! Come on! Come on! Thank you, Jesus. I'm very humbled by that. And then with the Impact Network, and then of course there's Tracy Morgan, who's from DC. Hey, Tracy! And then Carmina. These these are both they're both uh, stellar work um, winners, not just nominees, but winners. Mm -hmm. And then the Word Network, y'all, is on there. Right. This is going to be the backdrop. I was actually asked to do um, the red carpet. But the reason why we can't do it because the family reunion is around the same time, right. and with nursing you just can't 
do everything and it's, it, we have such a shortage but I just love just I appreciate and I'm humbled thank to God the glory just being in the number hoping that next year we'll be able to take uh, the trip and be able to stay for uh, and take you with me mom if we live enough and happen for about the two to three days. I think Carlton have said they're staying at the um, JW Marriott, which is a fabulous place. It is like second to none. So people, if you're able to go to Nashville for the Stella Awards, it's, that's where it's gonna be. And they're gonna have other little shows and different things, uh, showcases and different things gonna be there that whole um, that whole weekend from Thursday on to when they have the, um, the actual Stella Awards. And then a lot of times afterwards, they'll have a post Stella. Right. That, that's what I went to a couple of years ago, the Pell Stella. I wasn't able to get there because of my nursing job. Right. But anyway, this is wonderful. Yeah, the Stella is yay. Mm -hmm. Let me say my goodbyes. And listen, this show will be re-aired again, of course, on um, on Amazon, Fire Stick, and Roku, uh, WBGR on, on Demand. And then we also are now with um, All Nations TV Network with the Roku, Roku TV Worldwide. So Sundays, if you have the Roku, um, Sundays at um, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, wherever you are in the world, you convert it to that, whatever, wherever you are. Uh, Mondays, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesday at, Tuesdays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also on Wednesdays at 5.30 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Let me say my goodbyes before they cut me off. To the Nigerians, Adabo. To the Spanish, adios. To the French, au revoir. Uh, to the India people, Velostan, we're praying for you. To the Koreans, Anihikaseyo. Pakistan's Allah Hafaz. Uh, to the Ethiopians and Vietnamese people and those who speak that language, ciao. Uh, Italians, Arrivederci. The Russians, Dasvidani and all the English people, bye. See y'all later. Tune in next week, same time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Seen and heard, seen worldwide, all right? Have a good one, y'all. And please repost, share my show. Yeah, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Let's talk about the positive life. 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 Positive life.